What's up, guys? It's Alexander here. Uh, another review. Back from my vacation. And I'm going to be doing a series that um, some of you might not have seen in my uh, manga uh, viewing on my bookshelf. This is uh, called Kashimashi Girl Meets Girl. And it's one of the only uh, like shoujo I series I really own. And I'm, and like I'm not really big on it, but this one you know, got my eye. And I just thought it was really cute and gave it a try. And I actually have all of the series of it. And so I'm going to talk about it. Um, plot revolves around the main girl in the middle. Her name uh, is Hazuma. But the thing about it is uh, she used to be a boy in the beginning. And it talks, and the main crux of it is beginning of uh, her getting, well, him at the time getting dumped by the girl on his right. Well, being rejected. The girl on his left, the the, br the brunette girl, the dark haired girl, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, been rejected, and then wanting to start over and eventually find a new love, but then he is, <laughs> well, he's up on the mountain, you know, pointing to the stars. He uh, gets hit by a falling spaceship, and the aliens, uh. Bring him back to life, but as a girl. And now it's about him figuring out how to start over is in this uh, new body and new love life. and Which possibly might involve the other girl on the right. Um, oh, by the way, Hazuno is the dark-haired girl. And the twin tails, pigtailed girl is Tamari. And it's about them, you know... About a love triangle between the three of them. And it's <laughs> it's really crazy and really cute, actually, all at the same time. Um, one of the things I think that drove me to it, at least, was the art style. I thought it was really cute and bubbly and one of those kind of like stereotypical kind of like shoujo kind of like art styles. But it has a very softness, but still has some really nice like shadowing and uh, lighting and just really adorable i enjoy it a lot you know and it can also let it tell some very cute and funny chibi art style to what it wants to um so like as i summed it up as i said earlier this kind of the summing up it's pretty much a gender bending love triangle type series with a little bit of sci-fi thrown in and um one thing that i've noticed and it, it like deals with a lot of that whole thing of like love and loss and how it can affect Everybody from boys and girls and everything in between. <laughs> it doesn't like force anything really either. Like it just, you know, it doesn't try to like play any kind of like one-sided thing. It deals with like both sides of it. Since, you know, Hazuma being a former boy. And it never really lets you forget that. That that's who he used to be. Or she used to be. And it's really good. I think it's, you know... Does a really good job of balancing that all out. Um, some things I have to say about it though, it's um really short. Like this is only five volumes. So it's short to the point, and would like to see a bit more um characterization out of some of them too. Like a, like a lot of these kind of series that deal with them mostly um, you know, a shoujo eye type story, a lot of the boys in it kind of get the shaft. As far as characterizations and but that does happen to some of the girls too like there's one of their teachers who's just like a hopeless 30 something year old girl woman who's <laughs> down who's never really had a boyfriend and that's kind of like her whole shtick but also again kind of weak so it plays a bit of both and mainly focuses on the three girls as the main story um but you know just a little grab from me. I want to see a bit more from some of the other ones. Although, like her, um, um, Hazumo's uh, a friend that's a boy who again, like again, gets is a part of the a lot of the jokes. Um, does get a bit of a, a moment at the end to really show off more of his character, but again, that's just, that's one moment. But again, tiny grip, still pretty good. Um, yeah, in total, it's got a very cute art style. Got some really relatable characters going through what they, their problem. I won't give away anything about who 
she ends up choosing. But I know, like, apparently in the anime version, um, it ends up differently. So I'll just leave it at that. And then um, we get some relatable characters at times, uh, for the most part. Um, short but sweet, and a bit of a genre mixing all in all. So yeah, I give it a pretty cute uh, recommendation. Come on, guys, check it out. See you guys next time. Bye.